What is going on guys? We are back with another video today on Madden 21 and we are doing another career resim and this time it's of Robert Griffin III. I think I kind of want to do some of the big names that I wouldn't say busted because obviously injuries are kind of like ticky tacky. Maybe we do Ryan Shazier next but guys that didn't get to have a true full career maybe Andrew Luck is next there's a lot of different names that we could definitely do and I still do want to do a Rodgers one I definitely do because as a Packers fan it's like we kind of wasted him a little bit I'm gonna be honest but regardless enough of that Robert Griffin the third of course we all know the second pick of the draft in 2012 would it be the 2012 draft like it's the draft year is of the year they play right regardless Right behind, we all know, Andrew Luck, who also, I mean, obviously technically had a better career, also didn't full, play a full career. Of course, uh, Robert Griffin III's also to injury. This one's a little bit different, though. This is like an unlucky one, whereas Andrew Luck's was kind of a progressive one. So there's not much you can do about that, I suppose. Either way, uh, of course, we did uh, put him into the real upcoming class. I don't know how that changes things, but if you guys want it like this, let me know if you want it with just the CPUs. I don't know if it really matters either way. Let me know. Regardless, this is the way we made them. A plus throw power with B short, A throw on the run. Uh, there's some other ratings that are it's called, kind of all scrambled up. But we will uh, you know, get into the draft, see who takes him, and then as usual, follow their career. Oh, please, for the for the sake of RG3, don't do it, Washington. Washington has a chance here. The Saints 45-21 to 21 win the Super Bowl, of course. And Washington, like I said, I don't know if they have the number one overall pick or the second overall pick, but 3-13, and 13, they may ruin this man twice. They're the worst, so this could be RG3 to the Falcons. Could all the fall all the way to the Vikings, which would be interesting. Because I'd say Washington takes Trevor, right? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. I accidentally simulated. It doesn't really matter. We'll we'll see the results after the fact. Uh, it actually doesn't matter at all. Uh, we're just going to see. So, draft recap. Let's see who do they take. And Lawrence. Okay, so he's safe. And number two, number three, the Bengals. What? They have Burrow. What is wrong with this game? Okay, dude. Um... Uh, I do not know what to do. I may trade him. I, I actually don't know. Like, why, EA? Why? Why would they take a quarterback that is literally technically worse than their starting quarterback and the age is, like, the same? Do we trade him to the Falcons? I mean, we kind of already have... I, I kind of want to trade him to the Vikings. I think I'm going to trade RG3 to the Vikings for, like... I don't even know, dude. Something. Like, what do the Vikings end up taking? Maybe we can trade him over to the Vikings for whatever they took. Hopefully this team needs it. They probably took a pass rusher. Was it Slater? I would assume who they took was Slater. Which is a huge yikes. I'm, I'm certain this is who they took. Pick three probably, right? Let's see. Yeah, or pick six anyways. Yikes. I mean, I guess we'll, we'll, t we'll take him? <laughs> I don't even know, dude. Well, it's your lucky day, Vikings. You got to redo the draft, and you na desperately need it. Oh, and they're like, oh, sorry, we don't want a franchise quarterback. We'll take our normal development tackle that'll be in free agency in a few years. Okay. <gasps> like, really? Really, Minnesota? Come on. Well, I, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, what? And it was because I took more. Wow, we have uh, we screwed the Bengals over. I was so, I was so conf Yo, EA just tricked the actual hell out of me. That is kind of funny. I was like, wait, what has happened? He revert. <laughs> Why didn't I just make him base? Actually, no, I couldn't because he was in the draft. Um, yeah, I kind of had to do this. Actually, I was I was thinking of blast in the past, but now we we kind of had to. There cannot be two RG threes. One of them has to go, and it's obviously the real one because like he's older. Sorry. <laughs> See you later, my dude. Of course, Robert Griffin III on a, would have assumed be a four-year deal worth basically nothing, but both teams took a penalty, so obviously it's fair in that regards. Sorry, Bengals. <laughs> Bengal fans like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. But let's take a look at the actual ratings for Mr. Robert Griffin III. So, uh, 6'2", 223, 22 years old, rookie, with uh, a pretty fat face. I ain't even gonna lie, but 
These are his passing ratings, 92 throw power, deep of 81, 79 medium, 77 short, 81 awareness, 88 throw on the run, 83 play action, 77 under pressure, 77 break sack. We give him 93 speed, 90 excel, 88 ag agility. Carrying 68, it could probably be like 50. He had so many fumbles, unbelievable. And pretty much everything else you could see right there. Looks pretty good, right? I mean, other than once again the face, but I mean that's that's just the way Madden is. I can't I can't help you. There's only so much I can do, RG. And of course, for this one, uh, I've actually decided to. Uh, well, that's not the right thing. I decided to just keep the sliders at base for the quarterback. The rest do need to go up because otherwise, I mean, we've seen it. They they max out at like an 86, like 10, 15 years down the line, which is about fair. Uh, but quarterback, we're going to keep it 100, especially for a superstar. I feel like, uh, you know, pretty much any of these players we've created can just become a god at any point with the sliders we had for them. So if this works out better, we'll see. Uh, regardless, though, let's get into it. Once again, appreciate you guys watching these videos, as always. means a ton. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying this series, maybe subscribe. We do a ton of franchise, a ton, and I'm looking to probably do... Uh, a career simulation or re-simulation like these if you guys keep liking them maybe once every three days or so so definitely uh, a lot of players we can do this for and also uh maybe follow me on twitter don't be care regardless if there's any one thing you can do for me if you do enjoy this series maybe let me know in the comment section below who you would like to see next like i said we could do a luck we could do this and that i just want to know what you guys want to see and of course, as far as the playoffs, did we have a bye week? We did. Okay. Uh, I was like, where? where's the players that we need to sign in practice squad? The Vikings with RG3 have put up a season. They've put up a season. RG3, yards are a little low, but touchdowns are high. That should be a rookie of the year award. As far as rushing goes, of course, EA still doesn't have the technology, apparently, to, to decide that a guy that's fast should have decent rushing stats. I don't cool man let's take a look at the actual blocking stats i kind of want to see like what he's up against you know obviously he's kind of fast so he should be able to break away more than like a statue qb but uh, not bad 10 17 18 sacks allowed that's got to be below league average right in a good way as far as mvp goes really not on the list i thought he would have been on the list at least uh offensive player of the year maybe number nine so that's got to be a rookie of the year no it's not Trey Lance's rookie of the year. Actual scammer. Second best quarterback somehow. I don't... Those awards are literally so random. But RG3 in his very first season, just like in real life, right? Uh, rookie year. Gets to the playoffs. Going against a team that could have uh, very well and maybe would have drafted him if it wasn't for the Bengals for some reason taking another quarterback. Cool, man. Let's take a look. And, of course, they lose right out the gate. That's fine. You know, as long as he's not injured. <laughs> Shout out to real life. I mean, what? We also should put regression on. We're going to do that, actually. Because last time, regression wasn't actually that bad. Uh, Jamarcus uh, Russell, he barely regressed. I think he regressed one time in Dev, and it was, like, right at the end of his career. So, definitely fair to do that. He avoids that here, but obviously, I think he would have probably went up in Dev, if anything. Uh, and he did not, in general. Uh, Jefferson is not a superstar. Wait. Oh, yeah, we didn't use real. We should have used real classes. I, I, why didn't I use active? It doesn't really matter because Washington is going to be a pretty bad pick. And so is, well, Minnesota is likely to be a bad pick. I don't really care, dude. Robert Griffin, third of the Vikings, whatever. Yeah, we kind of we kind of ruined that one. But, you know, big deal. I don't know if he's going to be here all his career or not. The point is to see what would happen if he didn't retire early. Simply put. Have we actually seen a Super Bowl win from any of these guys? I'm trying to think. Tom Brady, I think, won one, right? Yeah, well, I think it was only Brady so far. I haven't had a lot of success in these for winning. Uh, 28, 28th pick, Lorenzo Malone. Pretty damn good pick. I mean, for 28, that's not bad. Really high strength as well. That running back pick is tragic. What are these picks? Why are you taking 24-year-olds without, like, great athletic abilities or anything? Like, what a waste of a pick. It's such a waste. Of course, I didn't mention it, but comparing that season to his real-life season, 
the yards were about 600 better. The touchdowns were about 12 better. The picks were worse, though, by like, what do we have? 10 picks there? He had five picks in real life. That's really all that matters. But obviously, in the rushing category, 10 times better. So you compare the two seasons. It's very close, but I'd probably give the nod to him in real life. Uh, 815 yards rushing with seven touchdowns is very hard to pass on. As ex well, I wouldn't say as expected, but as I personally expected. Uh, no playoffs here in the second year of court. Was that a 55-point game? 55 points on the Bears defense. How the hell did they not make the playoffs? The hell is this? Of course, RG3, a better season than last year. Is it enough for Superstar X Factor, though? We'll have to find out. Uh, DJ Moore. Not a bad signing, but did they get rid of Thielen? They didn't, so that's that's interesting. But okay, that's not a bad signing at all. As far as awards go, he's got to be on the MVP list now. Yeah, number eight. We didn't check rushing. Actually, we did check rushing, but I, did, I glanced over it because it was probably terrible. RG3 at number two for Offensive Player of the Year, and then quarterback at number three. So that's got to be a Pro Bowl selection. Very close to an X Factor if it's not already. I mean, I would give it to him. That's I mean, that's insane numbers. Is it the same exact Super Bowl? I know the Saints were in it, and they won it, I believe, but was it the Browns? I think it might have been. Super original. Saints win again, I believe. Uh, and RG3 does not go up in depth, I don't think. We have to check it every time because he could go up and then drop because sometimes the regression is that way. But no, he's uh, just not, regre uh, not progressed. That's fine. Still really good. What's overall now? 88? Is no, an 86. 88 with the morale boost. Of course, comparing that to real life, once again, in real life, year two, he played less games, but he had more yards, even though their record was terrible. 3,203 yards, touchdowns to picks were way worse. So 16 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. And as far as rushing goes, I mean, he turned into a pretty much a completely different player. 489 rushing yards. Uh, and then obviously uh, it gets worse from here, as we all know. With this pick, pick, oh my lord. Devin White slash Bush slash Isaiah Simmons, is that you? 92 speed middle linebacker. That is not good, but it's good for the team. I'm saying not good isn't like the, the rivals. My inner Packer fan always comes out. Running back Tequan Chambers, not a bad player, but once again, do you need a running back? I I mean, do you? Like, is that one of the needs? No. O line, maybe? No. But hey, I ain't going to say anything. Decent draft considering. Being able to land a star dev linebacker that's faster than the majority of the league is is it's a pretty big win. Call it call me crazy. I think it is. And it would appear that Harrison Smith's gonna retire here. Nine and seven again. This time it does give us a playoff spot. Breakout scenario for Jeff Gladney. Well, if he gets it, I mean I'll be pretty glad <laughs> Gladney. Glad happy. Um Team schedule, uh, looking at the schedule, two in, okay, so kind of a rough start, and then they, they kind of had a good second half to the season. RG3, obviously, through those first two games, or seasons, really solid. This year, the picks keep going down, which is really nice. The touchdown's really not, you know, 32, pretty fair. 3,800 yards, rushing, RG3. Do I have to, like, change to maybe Baltimore? I don't want to, like, ruin RG3 because he's doing really well here, but, like, him not running here makes no sense at all. As far as Offensive Player of the Year goes, number three, quarterback, number four. Ooh, Pro Bowl miss, unless one of those three makes the Super Bowl. Hey, maybe our, we'll, our guy will make a Super Bowl. I don't know. And by our guy, I mean I don't really care. <laughs> they lose already. Did Jeff Gladney get it, though? Wow, thank you. I'm glad you called me up to tell me that you're a loser. Um, didn't do well. That's what, yep. I didn't show the playoff performance last time, but... We'll take a look this time going against uh, you know the Cowboys. They lost by two. It's unfortunate, but at least they're making playoff berths. I mean, two out of three years isn't bad. Cowboys do win a Super Bowl, so I mean they lost to the Super Bowl winning team. It's sometimes it be like that. Uh, RG three didn't throw many picks, as in he had zero. But you know, I mean he did well. Rushing touchdowns probably had a few. Yeah, Dalvin. So very close game. It just seems like the team lost. I mean, there's not much you can do. Sometimes you just don't have. A scoring drive when you need it. I mean, you can't score every drive, so they just put up more of them. Simply put, there's not much else you can do about it. 
Oh, not looking too bad here. Of course, normal development center, but hey, they went the right direction. Then they go wide receiver. He's 70 overall, but he is actually hidden. Six foot four. Vikings going for the best receiving group of all time out here. They got more. They've got obviously Jefferson, superstar uh, Taj Day. They got a running back, Jamison Schaffer. Or Schaefer. It looks like Schaffer, though. It's double F. F. Your mom, mom. What? Uh, I mean, not a bad draft, actually. You know, the top three picks are actually really solid. The two normals are high overall, and then the guy that is in is superstar. So you can't really ask for much better than that. And they make the playoffs again. Okay, if he leaves Minnesota, he is an idiot. I'm just going to be 100% honest with you. If he leaves Minnesota, he is not the smartest. Because uh, right now, they are, they're looking good. Defense probably is on the regression side. You get to play Washington back-to-back, -back, ironically. Um... The stat line for uh, RG3, once again, it just keeps getting, I wouldn't say better, but it's its very consistent, and that's a, that's a good thing for sure. Receiving, Jefferson went off. That should be superstar. Moore was all right. Uh, Smith, meh. Day, meh. Uh, offensive line blocking. Sack totals were low, so the sacks allowed were low. Uh, any MVP looks? No. Oh, number 10. Is that his first time? No, he was definitely on the list before that. Four for uh, 10 deal at IHOP. Four for both, quarterback and offensive player of the year for the NFC side. Can he get some revenge on Washington? Can he even just get a win? Like, please? Thank you. Gets a win. The Saints have won a couple of Super Bowls now. Not good enough, though. The Buccaneers, can they do it? No. I feel like I caused that. Like, I, I was like, can they do it? And, like, my voice, I felt really un... Like, I didn't expect it. Like, I was just I was just like, yeah, I don't, I don't think they're going to win. Buccaneers once again losing to the Super Bowl team. This case makes a little more sense because obviously, you know, they just get to the Super Bowl beating us there. Let's take a look at these performances, though, while we're at it. So, RJ, this looks like a bad performance. Yeah. Wow. 138 yards. That is terrible. Obviously, they won, so it doesn't really matter. But it's going on against the Saints. Now, this game looks better. Yeah. And really good. Outperforms Trey Lance, who's beaten him in many awards. Nice, nice, nice. Now, this one's probably going to be pretty bad because they actually lose this game by quite a bit. Uh, RG3 had a worse game than Darnold. I mean, hell, he had a worse game than their backup. <laughs> yikes. That's a yikes one. But he was so close to the Super Bowl already. And what is he, like 26, 27, maybe? Not bad. Not bad. Of course, this is where they would either have had to give him the fifth year or the re-signing, I believe. I mean, he's still here. That's a good sign. Uh, 26 years old, so yeah, plenty of time to try and get that illustrious Super Bowl win uh, contract. Yeah, they gave him the deal nice. They gave him pretty, not a great deal, but pretty, pretty good. Decent enough. I mean, I'd take it. Oh, 77 overall safety, and he's hidden. This guy looks like a beast. 77 overall alone is good, but a hidden probably will be star, but we'll see. Yeah, start of element. Usually the higher... Overall, like, non-important positions that are kind of later like that. Definitely not going to hit that. But, hey, that's a really good pick. Anyways, they go for the tight end, Angelo Baker, on the shorter side. But not bad. I mean, it's young enough to get it going. That's weird. My Joe Biden, Jeffrey Epstein, and every other. I'm not going to go there. I will say, though, what the hell is the coaching XP on, like, 300%? I mean, I don't even think you can change that. But, like, geez, coach is going off. I'm going ham. This man's getting like 10k XP a season, it feels like. Maybe I'm just neglecting him, I don't know. Three superstar wide receivers. Tight ends lacking in performance, but he's obviously good. Center solid, right tackle solid. Usually they get rid of him around now. No, they actually must have re-signed him. Uh, they got Ezra Cleveland looking all right. Not a bad looking offense defensively. Great safety. They got Reed at free. I like the moves. I like him. I do. Uh, now you just got to get rid of Pierce. Just because he's old, not because he's bad or anything like that. Another playoff season. And whether he wins a Super Bowl or not, this is easily going to be the most successful one just because of how many playoff games he's getting. And not even just that, but this is like breaking this is like breaking the Madden curse and then like switching to a different sport to break their curse. Because the Vikings are just not good in Madden for some reason. Like they just always play really badly. And oh, speaking of playing badly, we better see a lot of rushing touchdowns here because that is a bad sign. 3,700 yards, 23 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. And in fairness, we do see quite a bit. So you see an extra like seven or so touchdowns, maybe more. RG3 did have five on the ground himself. So 
not bad receiving obviously just took a hit that year really solid offensive line play as well can't really ask for much more than that obviously he's definitely not going to win MVP or any of the awards but you know even if he was on one I'd be surprised because you know it's kind of a bad season wins the game against the Cowboys though going against the rival Packers the odds are not in their favor here and yeah that was a really good game though close 44 to 38 but yeah the odds aren't super great on that one and then what do you know the Browns versus the Saints our favorite matchup that never happens the Browns win. Let's take a look at those games. I also want to take a look at the devs because we may see a dev down in this situation, which would definitely shake things up a little bit because he's in that regression zone if he's not superstar. RG3, like I said, not a great performance in the first game. Kind of off of that regular season, kind of down season. Uh, as far as this game, oof, RG3 looking a little rough in these games, man. And then we go to the championship game, which we were not in. Okay, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking here. Why did I think they played three and one? Like, I don't know why. Either way, yeah, not a great performance. Let's get another, like, 9K XP season. What the hell? Mike Zimmer, you're actually a cheat code, my dude. Uh, no dev down for Griffin. Uh, we do see that they got rid of Day, which is really surprising. But I guess you can't keep all your superstars. Uh, as far as the defensive side of things go... I mean, they're making good moves. I mean, I, I think there's a very obvious reason as to why this team's doing well. It's because they're making good plays. Normally, we see, like, no free agent signings or very bad ones. The drafts are usually terrible, but, I mean, they're doing well here. All right, draft time. He's normal, but holy crap. I seen my eyes work very fast, if you didn't know. Um, I saw strength, and I saw it overall instantly. This guy is nuts. 21 years old. Look at the traits. Spin move? Swim? For a DT? Okay, dude. Bull rush? I mean, this guy's like an absolute god. I was going to say Aaron Donald, but I know you guys hate that. Hey, another Brackens. We've seen that in our, our recent rebuild. We didn't take him, but this one, uh, about a similar, actually. Brackens, it's a name to go for, apparently. Uh, Gil Elam. Hey, hidden development. I don't know how good he is, but... I mean, if I'm if I'm them, I'm starting them, but I don't... I mean, I'm not them, technically. Do we start him anyways? I feel like we should start him anyways. Come on, like, he's hit... He, like, he's star. Come on. He's worth starting. And they're in the playoffs again. Of course, we might as well take a look at the uh, the breakout quarterback. Maybe he gets to Superstar X Factor. You never know. He could get to Superstar X Factor. Uh, I think we should see, use the re-signing thing because he looks pretty damn good here he's, he's kind of balling out of course taking a look at the season the nfc north kind of falling apart here of course the vikings still stay strong they're actually a really solid team if this one doesn't win a super bowl honestly i don't know if we're ever going to see like one of these type of recent well, i guess i mean tom brady was the same thing as a recent anyways but I don't know if we're ever going to see, like, multiple Super Bowl winners because this is a crazy roster. RG3, solid season. No rushing touchdowns, as you would expect. Receiving... Oh, Taj Day is back. Yo, how? Oh, wait. Is this a different Taj Day? Wait a minute. What? Yo, I'm so confused. I don't even I don't even know. I have no clue. I guess I'll take a look at the awards. I did forget last time to show you guys the Pro Bowl account. Pro Bowl counts. So hopefully this time I remember cuz if not I'm going to be I'm going to be kind of disappointed with myself. 8 for RG3. I don't know why I said it like 8. Uh looks like it could be a uh, a Pro Bowl spot for him. So speaking of going against the Giants here, 10 and 6 for both teams. Really? I mean, I'm not going to look at the breakout. You freaking lost it. Obviously, you have to win to get the breakout. I don't give a damn. The Raiders are in it. Of course, the Saints in it for like, I don't even know how many times. And they win it for the, I don't even know how many times. Third now, at least. Uh, let's take a look at the wild card weekend. God dang it. Can this team get to the Super Bowl? Come on. RG3, 219. I mean, really low numbers there. It's just a yikes. I don't know what else to tell you. It's just a yikes. All right, pick 23, Sheldon Benjamin. Meh. DeAndre Strong, what a terrible pick. Alexander Bowers, uh, he's okay, I suppose. Yeah, definitely their worst draft so far, without a doubt. This is what the team looks like. 97 overall, RG3, 28 years old now. 
age is catching up, but he's not an X factor. He's not an X factor, but he's still going to stay a pretty high overall as that superstar. I don't know if with this, the way the team's built, if he's ever going to get to X factor though, unless he gets a breakout. Because as of right now, like his numbers just aren't hitting that threshold that he needs, which isn't bad because he's obviously still really good and they're winning because of it, but. Yeah, as far as how long his career may go, it's probably going to be a bit less than Jamarcus. Jamarcus was, I mean, the man just wouldn't go. He's, he's like the uncle that asked to stay and move in for a couple of weeks as he's hitting hard times and he just doesn't want to leave. I don't, I don't even know if that's true or not, but 12-4, and four, Minnesota is on fire. I've never, just in general, not even like career recent or anything like that, I have never seen a team... You know, that is unexpected to win. Do Okay, never mind. Everything I said is irrelevant because he had one of the greatest seasons of all time. This is obviously an X-Factor year. 4,200 yards, 42 touchdowns, three picks. I mean, he added a couple to rushing. If he doesn't get to MVP, I don't know like how he, like, he'll never get MVP. Justin Jefferson also looks to have joined him in the X-Factor zone. RG3, the MVP of the league. Outshining the number one overall pick, Trevor Lawrence. Gotta like seeing that on top of it. Offensive player of the year, best QB. I mean, all of that was pretty much obvious. Wild card round, though, at 12 and 4. If you lose this, that is harsh. And they win, not by much, but they win in the divisional against the Panthers. They win that. Washington, revenge again. And they lose. Get to the damn Super Bowl. I'm going to take a look at it now. I'm, I'm not bothered waiting. Let's take a look at the performances. Uh, once again, RG3 in the playoffs. I mean, it's not bad. It's just super game manager like they just don't trust them it's like you think this coaching staff would learn uh in this game i mean barely over 100 yards what are these numbers i get we're running the ball a lot but like don't you know like please this game defense i mean they did well on an rg3 bro i don't i don't know i don't change anything i haven't changed a single thing whatever the vikings start off as that is literally what the scheme is i'll show you a moment Right here, West Coast zone, four three quarters, Minnesota, Minnesota. I don't – they're playing, like, insane in the regular season, and then the postseason, they're just terrible. All right, so Washington won the Super Bowl over the Titans. So, I mean, who gets a laugh, last laugh now? Uh, and then looking at the draft was terrible. The second worst pick you could possibly get. Wow, you get a hidden development corner. Too bad he's the same age as his freaking jersey. Oh, my Lord. You can't really get much worse than that. They do get Spencer Shore, uh, Sherwood, though. I mean, okay, Minnesota, you're just, like, on crack. Like, they're just... They don't lose. Even when they lose, they somehow find a way to win. I don't know what it is. But congrats, I guess. Uh, worthy congratulations are in order, I suppose. And they missed the playoffs. 7-9. and nine. It's been a while. Uh, what is their overall? 93. They're still really good. So, a little shocking to see them lose here. I'm not going to really pay attention to who they lost to. Oh, they won five in a row. So you had a terrible season, and then you were like, you know what? How can we make this worse? Oh, yeah, let's win all the games so then our pick sucks as well. Way to go, Minnesota. Just everything I say, the opposite happened. I don't think he's ever going to be the X Factor. Literally gets it the year after. Well, I mean, assume, and we didn't actually check. Literally gets it the year after. Then we're like, the Vikings never lose. And then here they are taking L's left and right. Also, is he still here? Because, like, I mean, he could have left. I mean, obviously not not yet, but he's not an X Factor. Really. Justin Jefferson went up. Or maybe he did and then he regressed. I don't know. But okay. I mean, how old is he? 30 now. Okay, fair enough. Pick 10 in the draft could have been a top 5 pick. Ooh! Ooh, hidden development guard, not a bad selection. That is obviously very good, whether he's star or superstar, and he's star. I mean, if RG3 sticks around, he'll be there right alongside him. So, I mean, he'll have somebody he knows, kind of. I know it's kind of weird because he's a rookie, so he like doesn't really know. Yeah, I don't know. I was saying things that was, you know, it made sense, and it's not, and now it doesn't. But speaking of age, this is uh, RG3's final year in his contract if he leaves this team. To compare the teams, 88 overall, Minnesota, he would be moving on to... Well, there are actually some other decent teams, which is really strange. The sliders aren't that high here. I will say that there still are probably some real-life superstars. We'll have to keep monitoring this just so we know that it's like not too high as sliders. 
I mean, the sliders aren't that high. Like, 125 to 130 is not crazy high. But, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't leave Minnesota. Great offense. And they've been making the playoffs pretty much every year. They missed two out of, what, eight years? It's not bad. And, you know, that sign, we're in the Super Bowl, how, or in the Super Bowl, in the playoffs. However, it's never a good sign. You know you're far in the league when Daniil Hunter is about to retire. Uh, he did regress at some point, too. 34 years old. I feel like he can give it another year. I don't know why he, he's given up so early. He can give it another year. What is he doing? Come on. Damn, son. But let's take a look at the season. Of course, 10-6. and six, Not enough for the division. We haven't really won the division that many times out of all these years, but we did make the playoffs more than the other teams, which is really strange to say, but that's because of the consistency. RG3 back on top. 39 touchdowns, 10 picks, 3,800 yards. Rushing two touchdowns, you know, over 4,000 yards total, over 40 touchdowns total. So I wouldn't say MVP, but close. Number four, it's got to be best uh, really behind Conrad. I don't even know who the hell that is. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't because we haven't followed every draft. And then RJ3, best quarterback. So he got, he got his, right? He got his. And I suppose let's talk about this stuff because it does give us morale boost. So why not? Do you know Hunter is completely boosted in his morale I want to actually take a look at that. I don't really pay attention to that that morale boost one. So I want to see, like, what does maxed morale actually give him? Of course, he's a pass rusher, so it's going to be different for other positions, I imagine. But let's take a look. What is the max morale? It gives him a plus one, apparently. Two to finesse. That's pretty big. Power move plus two. I mean, it's nice. It's not, like, crazy or anything like that. But okay. Okay, fair enough. 90 overall team with the morale going against the Giants who took us out first game last year. Promise you, man, I did everything I could. Troy Walker, I'm going to be honest. I don't even know who the hell you are. I also am going to be honest. What does the morale loss mean when the season is over? Who cares? It really resets the following year, doesn't it? Buccaneers and Ravens, both top teams still. And the winner is the Buccaneers. So 86 overall now. RG3 could need a re-signing. I mean, he does need to re-sign, but is he going to be getting a re-signing? That's the question. Daniel Hunter, still a star development trade player. So he lied. He basically lied is what I'm getting at. 84. That could be RG3. It is not. RG3 is still around. Did he start regressing? He did. Uh, injury. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, of course, as far as... Who's this? McDougal. How old is he? Whoa, not bad. All right. Uh, as far as the team goes, though, definitely taking some hits across the board. Corner is obviously one of their biggest needs, but it's been one of their biggest needs for, at this point now, multiple decades. Ooh, pass rusher. Okay, I'm going to put him at left end because I believe uh, Daniil Hunter, if he didn't already like leave through free agency or something, would be gone after this year. So they're going to need I'll put him at number 52. Uh, as far as the rest of the talent goes, normal running back has potential. Looks like a power back just off a of first glance. Uh, left guard. Okay, I mean, the, the the pass rush is obviously amazing, so that's good. But the rest of the draft wasn't great. You want to try to at least land two a year, especially when you're already a good team. Let's take a look at RG3's contracts. Obviously, he had to sign another one. Uh, these quarterback ones are a little bit less interesting in a way because obviously... For the most part, they're going to stay on that initial team. Another five-year deal that appears to be, or four or five-year deal, whatever. Another really solid deal, putting him in, what, 35-ish for the rest of his career? Not, I mean, he's not going to be 35 years old, but, you know, his Vikings career. I would imagine he'd be gone after that, which kind of sucks. We actually have, like, a ton of uh, XP for Mike Zimmer. And they're back in the playoffs, but 8-8. Eight and eight. Oh, yikes. Washington giving us a little bit of pain over the last several seasons. I would say get the revenge, but every time I say it, it just doesn't go well. I'm just not going to say anything. RG3, second lowest touchdowns of his uh, re-career, re-sim. Uh, 4,200 yards, 7 picks. Rushing, he did get to 30 if you count total. No point in looking at the awards. He just did, would not have won one, and if he even got on the list, I'd be surprised. Come on, Minnesota. You can do it. You can't. You just can't. Minnesota, what the hell? Teams have fallen apart. I think uh, I think that window that was there for... I mean, that window was there for a long time. I think it's finally about to disappear. I really do. And I will say, this team has got to be 
one of the worst playoff performing teams I've ever seen. Like they are just so bad on offense. Soon as they get to the playoffs, they're just trash. Miami versus Washington. Very interesting matchup. And the winner is Washington. Washington kind of on a, a tear lately, which is once again super ironic. All right, they finally go cornerback. He is normal, but I mean, he looks all right. Uh, looking at middle linebacker now, Deshaun Moore fast again. Left guard Sheldon Jefferson, that would have been a clutch hit in development. Uh, I mean, it's a good draft as far as CPU drafts go. It's pretty par, just no hiddens, and the overalls were a little low. We missed the playoff. Oh, here it is. It's going to happen. 5 and 11. Yikes. Uh, as far as passing goes, RG3366. Oh, it's the devil. The devil's playing his hands in this one. Oh, he's, he's here. He's here. Run. All right, I got, I sent him back. I sent him back and, oh, Lord. We're not going to look at any of the uh, awards or anything like that because he's, you know, we're not going to win anything with that. No, those sets of numbers. But yeah, the demise is here, I think. And Washington, stop now. I command you. I command thee. Oh, my Lord. It is, you know, the Sean Taylor one. Chargers just start winning every single Super Bowl. Now it's Washington. Obviously, you know, they could have they could have had him, but they didn't take him, so it's a little different. But, you know, real life, technically. Oh, RG3's regressing. If he doesn't get to X-Factor soon, he could regret. He could retire. He very well could retire at, like, 36. Literally, right, right as his, uh, his contract ends, he could be gone. Oh, they go corner, and he's normal. Why is this game the way it is? Uh, they go safety as well. They load it up on defense. Uh, Giovanni Burrell, uh, offensive lineman. They went, I mean, all of them are normal. But that's just Madden. You know, that's not nothing they could really do about that. It's a good draft. I mean, it's a good draft. But it may be too little too late. Maybe. I don't know. 86 over. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, they're back in the playoffs at 11-5. and five. Obviously, at this point, I need to show you guys that we're, like, cheating or not cheating. I changed his face so I can get a freaking thumbnail. For, apparently, you can't have mini dreads go through the helmet. They they just get suctioned in. <laughs> like, they sometimes peek out, but usually they don't. Uh, going against the Buccaneers, who obviously have had a lot of success. Not enough today, though. They lose to us. Now going against the Rams. Now headed against the Giants. And they beat the Giants. They're in the Super Bowl. Going against the Raiders. We're going to watch. We're going to participate, kind of. 87 of their 89 overall. Bit of a yikes. All right, here it is. RG3 could have a Super Bowl win. 7-0. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Raiders come back with 3 Second quarter, seven to ten to three, was looking good. Score here, seventeen to three. Speaking of three, I think RG three may be a Super Bowl champion. I'm almost certain of it. The Raiders are trying to come back. I think it's too little, too late, and it is RG three. RG knee knee needs to sign another contract with Minnesota because obviously he's killing it. Uh, maybe we actually put him on the damn podium. Maybe, maybe that's the thumbnail. I don't freaking know. You guys already know, though. Uh, of course, winning the Super Bowl on the Minnesota Vikings with RG3 as the captain of the team. Did he get to Superstar X Factor? Will he ever get to Superstar X Factor? Who freaking knows at this rate? But obviously, it's good to see another career resim go successfully, specifically with a Super Bowl title. Maybe start looking at some of the career rating, um, you know, stats and whatnot for him because we're probably getting there. I mean, look at look at his picture there. How does it look anything like him? He has long hair, like he's shaved on the picture. What the hell? Like, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. But oh well, oh well. There's no faces that were really like his with dreads and whatnot. Could have maybe just taken a picture with RG3's like character. I don't know. Like look at his face. It's like from the back. It's like oh snap, that looks pretty good. And that's where it ends. <laughs> it's like, look at him. His hat doesn't even, his do rag doesn't even fit. Look at it. It's too big. Like, it's. <laughs> oh my god. It's too big. It doesn't make any sense. His face is so big. Yikes. Oh lord. But what can you do? What can you do? Those are the ratings of the game. RG3 and company winning the ball. Oh, look at Daniil. We did it last team standing. I wonder, is he actually still here? Or is this just like another one of those glitches? He is retiring, but has he? Like, is he still there? I don't even know. I don't see him. I don't, I, I don't know. We'll see. 
And RG3 is still obviously a baller, 34 years old now. The regression may hit him quite a bit, though. Ooh, he dropped quite a bit. He's now a 94 overall. Still pretty damn solid, obviously. Percy Whitaker, wide receiver, normal development trait. Looks pretty solid. Looking at the right end, Landon Murray. Interesting name. And wow, look at those overalls. Terrible. I mean, unless they're hidden, those are some bad picks. Head to the playoffs. We win this Super Bowl, and then we go 7-9. Okay, RG3, definitely not good enough to go up in dev, but, I mean, is he bad enough to go down in dev? I don't know. I'm also curious to see, like, when did he have to resign a contract? He's got to be very soon. Maybe even was already this year. Maybe he's gone. Maybe he's going to be gone. The Giants win the Super Bowl. I think we maybe missed a couple. Of, no, we already we just won, so obviously we're not going to miss, you know, who just won the Super Bowl. Um, looking at RG, oh, he's down to a 90, so he dropped four overalls twice now. I will say, though, it could also be... Even worse, because maybe he leveled up. His XP looks pretty fresh there. So, RG3 kind of coming down to the end of his career here, potentially. Specifically, or especially if he does not get an X-Factor upgrade. Which, it's looking less likely each time we sim. Playoffs. Come on, let's get back in them. And we are. 9-7. and seven. Uh, I don't know why I'm checking this out. We skipped, like, some weird ones, so <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, let's take a look at the stat. We should have taken a look at the stats of the Super Bowl stuff, like, on the way up. RG3 yards are right. Picks are fine. Good rushing touchdowns, but overall passing touchdowns are kind of on the lacking side. I ain't gonna lie. But here we are, going against the Cardinals. Can we see another Super Bowl? They win. They did beat the Rams last time. They win. Oh, it's MGG. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Oh, maybe not back in the Super Bowl. I mean, we already seen one. The luck is on our side, just simming. We're going to win this. I ain't worried about it. Yo, I don't know what it is, but I think, I don't know. Maybe it's just coincidence because it is a 50-50 shot, but there's something in the loading screen that shows you if you lose. I don't know what it is, but like, I knew we were going to lose that as soon. Oh, I just punched my microphone. Sorry, dude. Uh, I just knew we were going to lose. Like, why? We'll just take a look at this one because I don't want the video to be too long. RG3, two touchdowns. I mean, I, I'm i going to take a look at the other ones because I can't imagine he played better than that in any of the other weeks uh, because he's usually pretty bad in the postseason. I'm not, I'm not going to protect him on this one. This is the one that he's bad. Oh, not bad. And we could have looked at wild card, but yeah, whatever. Not bad, though. Nine and seven. Uh, let's take a look at what overall is. Is the regressions already hit? Oh, hell no. It has. It's like when uh, somebody's like hair gets taken off of their head unexpectedly. Like I was just like, oh, Jesus, shocked me there. Yikes. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at the stats at the end of this next season. If he's even here. I mean, it doesn't really matter because obviously if he leaves, it's fine. You know, we'll just follow him around. But it looks like he may retire a Viking. Fair enough. We maybe sold a little bit on the early portion, you know, kind of gave the Vikings a great player like RG3. And they didn't really deserve it because in real life... They're kind of winning. They look like they're probably going to be, like, maybe barely in the top 10. Definitely not pick six. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's close enough, right? Unless they go winning, you know, running the table or whatnot. Oh, my. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at this. Oh, no. I mean, even if that guy's, like, superstar, that's still, like, a long shot at 62 overall. That's a yikes. By the way, what happens when you're running a franchise? We got all the XP upgraded, by the way. Every up upgrade... What happens if, like, does the coach ever retire while you're controlling him? Like, does it, like, oh, sorry, by the way, uh, you need to make a new guy because he's dead. Hey, no, it's not good. Eight and eight. Yikes. Uh, Robert Griffin III, obviously those numbers are starting to look worse and worse every year now. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting to that point. I think we're going to definitely take a look at his ratings or his stats now because... He could very well retire here. Obviously, a very solid career. 58,000 yards, 494 touchdowns, 120 interceptions, 67% completion percentage. Uh, really solid. 109 passer rating. Uh, RG3, 2750 for yards, 23 touchdowns in his career rushing, which, as far as Madden goes, you can pretty much say that's like 5,000 rushing yards, really. So, uh, really good stuff there. And we did not, damn it, we did not get to take a look at his. Pro Bowl and awards list. Uh, we don't probably have to worry about too much. What was his overall pass rating? It was, it was 109, I think, right? Awards. He was drafted pick three, technically six. Four Pro Bowl appearances, 
four league passer rating awards, uh, two best quarterback awards, an offensive player of the year, and a most valuable player of the year award. Definitely a solid career, a Super Bowl winner, an MVP, a Hall of Famer. The question is, is he going to play another season? This could be his last year. Miami versus the Saints. Seen a lot of Miami. They kind of came around looking good. Saints are back around as well. The Saints do end up losing to the Dolphins. Now we have to see, is he gone? It appears that he's still here. I don't know if they're going to re-sign him now, but he does look to be still in the NFL. And that is, I mean, he's barely holding on. What is that speed looking like? Did they not drop speed? I, get, I mean, I get there was a problem with speed dropping too far in the past, but like, he should not be 93 speed at 37 years old. What the hell is this? Like even Tyreek at 37 shouldn't probably be 93 speed in Madden if you ever, you know, played that long. But hey, what I mean, I doesn't bother me. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Question is though, is he still here? Like this would be the perfect time to let him go and go for someone new. And they've done that. Oh my. Let's uh advance to the draft and see where he went. I can't be bothered changing the off-season free, you know, bidding, whatever. This has been a long episode, uh, longer than normal, because it took me a while to find a, a thumbnail to uh, put him on. Take a look at, where is RG3? The Buffalo Bills. He's the starting quarterback there. They paid him like 20 mil. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go to the Bills. I feel like the Bills were involved recently in one of these, weren't they? Oh, Mike. Mike Zimmer. He's such a legend. Yeah, I mean, look at these overalls. Obviously, very far down the line. That's why I kind of wanted to keep those ratings. I think it's fair. I think what we usually run is pretty, you know, pretty decent. And do the coaches not upgrade themselves, or does it just not matter? I don't know. He's just maxed. Like, pretty much every coach is, like, maxed out here. Pick eight overall for the Bills, so uh, RG3 probably not going to have much of a shot here to win another Super Bowl. But, hey, who knows? Uh, Hidden Development Center. That's obviously nice for them. 69 overall there. I mean, it's a pretty solid draft, actually. I mean, maybe the first, second picks should have been better, but it's a pretty deep class, I suppose. And he does miss. Uh, they do go 9-7, and seven, though. It's a pretty damn good year. Uh, Robert Griffin III could save it, could go to Superstar. I mean, it won't do much. It'll keep him around for maybe an extra year, but let's take another quick look at his awards. He might have, uh, or his ratings, you know, that's what he looks like. It looks like his pass rating actually went up after that season. Might have, you know, he's number 11 now, yikes. But he might have actually won, you know, maybe went to another Pro Bowl. He didn't. Let's take a look at Mr. Robert Griffin III. How long did this man stay? Was this his, this his final year? Washington back in it again. They've won like four Super Bowls at this rate if they win this one. Jeez, man. Joe Burrow retires. That's got to be RG3 as well. No, he's still here, is he? But Why? 74 overall. Hey, if you if you must, I suppose. The thing is, will he actually have a starting job, though? That's the question. Let's find out where he is. He could still be here, but I'm just going to look through this. I mean, it's going to be very easy to find him. Let's look through speed. And no, I think he's gone. Or he's still in free agency. Let's take a look at next season. If he's still in free agency, we're going to call it there. We're going to say he retired at, you know, whatever his years are, obviously. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. He's obviously not going to start. He's sitting behind the guy that was drafted before him. But what a freaking turn of events. He must have got signed just recently, too, because uh, obviously he wasn't there before. I mean, let's go and see if they win a Super Bowl. I mean, hell, this would be a, a hell of a big brother type story. Like, Trevor's like, bro, I got you. I seen the struggles. I know you already had a Super Bowl, but yeah, let's get another one. I don't know why I forgot that he won one. Trevor Lawrence had a... I mean, hell, this could have been a Trevor Lawrence video. He had a hell of a career. And they did not make it. So, of course, I, I mean, I don't think he made any... Uh, where is he? Oh, no, this is a different team. What am I talking about? I forgot to change. They might have made it, actually. Did they? They may have actually made it. They have! We're moving to Washington, boys! Obviously, it doesn't really matter too much for his actual stat line, but if he wins another Super Bowl, that'd be kind of cool. You know, why not, right? Let's watch. We've already seen the stats. Can they do it? 87 overall, Washington. 
Oh, here it is. They're moving along. They're chugging along. Headed to the championship round and they lose. RG3 is devastated, but obviously still an amazing, amazing career. Did he finally freaking retire? He did. Did he also retire with Trevor? Trevor's probably still here, right? Wait, what? I was just saying, like, he's a free agent. Robert Griffin III retires after 17 years in the NFL. That is going to be the video, ladies and gentlemen. What did you think was going to happen? Did you think he was going to win no Super Bowls? Do you think he was going to kill it? If there's anything you think that can make the series even better, let me know. Like, maybe we could have kept injuries on in this one. Maybe, you know, have his injury like 85 or something. But it was kind of like an unfortunate injury. It wasn't like him being really injury prone per se. But let me know in the comment section below, of course. Let me know also who you would like to see in a future episode. Definitely means a ton to me that you guys are watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we're getting close to the holiday season. I guess it's already holiday season. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a special uh, holiday video at some point. I don't know. Regardless, though, there'll be more videos tomorrow, and there'll be more videos the next day and the next day. That's the one constant in everyone's life, is I will always upload to YouTube. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video, but until next video...